2009. Planning Board for Cape Elizabeth, there are five members present and we have a quorum. And the first item we have on the agenda is to consider the, me the minutes of the previous meeting. Does anybody have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, or motions for the board to consider? I have a motion for the board to consider that we accept the minutes as presented. Uh, do I hear a second? A second. Motion having been made by Beth Richardson and seconded by Tom Dolan. All in favor of the motion? All opposed? Motion carries 5 nothing. First item on the agenda for business is the 2009 Shoreland Zoning Amendments. And if we could have a brief introduction from the uh, town planner. Uh, then I'll uh, open the public hearing. Shoreland zoning is a state requirement. It's uh, state mandated and it's re the local municipalities are required to implement it. Um, there's been a new update of the shoreland zoning and municipalities are required to amend their ordinances to come into compliance with that update as of July of this year. So proposed are a set of amendments that uh, really touch very many parts of the ordinance. It, it includes several definitions. It includes provisions for uh, record keeping for the Zoning Board of Appeals. It includes some adjustments to the Resource Protection Districts because the Resource Protection Districts cover areas that the State Shoreland Zoning also covers. Uh, I don't think there's anything hugely substantial in here. I think a lot of it is, is cleanup and tightening of language. There are, is a lot of uh, changes to the Shoreland Zoning performance standards and a complete overhaul of the timber harvesting standards. In that particular case, three options were available. Uh, what the, if the town elected to, to adopt their own standards versus the state Department of Conservation standards, then we would not be able to avail ourselves of their assistance. However, the town currently does not allow clear cutting um, in the buffer around Great Pond and the State Department of Conservation timber harvesting regulations would allow that. So the Planning Board is not recommending that we comply to the letter with the Department of Conservation timber har harvesting provisions. We are doing everything but that one section. That does mean we will continue to rely on our own local resources to enforce timber harvesting. Um, but frankly, we don't have a lot of it in town, so we're not expecting it to be a huge burden. Uh, with that, the provisions and the revisions are online and also available for the, um, the public to review in the town hall. There are also a set of um, amendments to the zoning map. And again, um, I don't believe that any of those amendments, if anyone can see the zoning map, it's just the areas in red. None of those amendments, in my opinion, are significant. Uh, what they're doing is they're extending shoreland zoning almost exclusively in areas where we already have wetland buffer requirements. So um, there's a couple of little twig, uh, tweaking of wetland boundary lines, but um, nothing that I would consider a substantial change from what we currently do. So the proposed amendments before you are both t text amendments to the zoning ordinance and map amendments to the official zoning map. Any questions? Um, Maureen, the the document that um, that we have has handwritten notes in it. Are they the DEP's notes? Yes. Um, what I was able to do is um, I took the. Um, That's just part of it. I took the draft that that the planning board had prepared and essentially set to public hearing and sent it to the DEP because we do have to submit our final um, amendments to them for approval and if we don't get their approval then um, they impose uh, their own zoning on the town. So what I gave you is a copy of the written comments that the DEP submitted to us and I have taken the draft that you have uh, sent to public hearing and amended it to reflect all of their comments. So um, at this time, I am fairly confident that this draft would meet the state requirements. And, and what happens now? So the final draft as we, as we adopted, assuming we adopted this evening, then goes to DEP again? No, it does not. Um, it's a zoning package. Yep. So if you uh, recommend it to the council tonight, mm -hmm. then it goes to the council they will probably send it to the town council ordinance committee who will review it 
they may, may make additional changes. They would then send it back to the town council. The town council will hold a public hearing on it and then hopefully vote for adoption. And then we would submit it to DEP for a formal determination of consistency. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions for Mark at this point? This uh, having been noticed as a public hearing, I'd like to uh, open the public hearing and invite members of the public to come up and make comments on the proposed changes to the Shoreland Zoning Ordinance. Seeing none, I'll close the public hearing and uh, invite the board. Any further discussion? Barbara? I would like to say publicly that Maureen, our town planner, has just done a yeoman's job with this. It was very difficult, and there were, there were so many little places, and we went through it line by line at the workshop, and I think she did a great job and, then, and deserves our vote of thanks, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well said. I'd like to make a motion. Thank you. Um, I'd like to make a motion that based on the proposed amendments, the planning board recommends to the town council that the attached shoreland zoning amendments to the zoning ordinance and zoning map amendments be adopted. I'd like to second. Motion having been made by Tom Dolan and seconded by Beth Richards. Is there any discussion on the motion? I just had one question. Um, in the discussion on the memo that we have on the amendment on page 14, talks about an amendment that would allow change of use for non-conforming structures. But when I look on page 14, it seems to me that it's a change of a non-conforming use, whether or not the structure is non-conforming. True. Okay. And, and that, I think what, what is actually in the ordinance is what we intended. I think it's just the explanation that's flawed. Okay. Okay. It's the hate of the Sad. Perfectly drafted in the ordinance. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Just double checking. Any further discussion on the motion? All in favor of the motion? All opposed? Motion carries 5 nothing. Any other uh, discussions, motions? Motions to adjourn? I'd like to make a motion. Go ahead. Motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Motion having been made by Tom Dolan and seconded by Beth Richard. All in favor? The meeting is adjourned. <laughs>